welcome back. Today we are at Sea World San Antonio for the Seven Seas Food Festival. So we're going to bring you guys along with us. This is actually an abridged version of the Seven Seas that we normally see, but this is our first time. So 2020 Seven Seas Food Festival is a little bit shorter than the regular just because we have limited park capacity and um, we don't really know how many people are going to be here. But we're going to go try some food. We have food from Italy, Greece, um, Germany, <laughs> Special thanks for SeaWorld uh, for inviting us out here, getting us one of these lanyards. So really appreciate that. We also have our brand new masks on from SeaWorld. So we actually bought these right outside the front gate. So if you do show up and you forgot your mask or someone in your party forgot their mask, they do have masks for sale. They are $10 each, but if you buy three, you get one for free. So these are two of ours. And these are adult size masks. They do have youth sizes as well. I wanted to mention, if you do have really sensitive ears, the adult size masks coming right out of the packaging are quite tight. So we're going to see how they feel on our ears as our first wear today. Um, but if you want a looser fit and you still want to buy a SeaWorld mask, you can attach like buttons to a hop um, or look up different ways to attach your mask so that they're not on your ears. Coming in on a Sunday, you can tell the crowd level is significantly increased from, you know, us going to the middle of the week. So, uh, good for SeaWorld. You know, Lindsay and I have always been big proponents of SeaWorld, so it's really nice to see the crowd level doing a little better than what we've seen. So, we're going into check right now, and then on to Seven Seas. Look at all these people. Decided to do a quick roller coaster. Thought we would do the Texas Stingray, so that'll be fun. All right, so Tyler just came off of the Texas Stingray. <laughs> How was it? So two things. So I went up there feeling pretty confident, right? We did initial POV, and we'll link that video down below in the comments. So I did a POV of the Texas Stingray. Came out okay. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep my glasses on. I've seen other YouTubers that ride roller coasters with glasses. So I was like, I'm gonna keep my glasses on. Camera's good. I got up there and I hope Lindsay shows all the footage. All of that confidence went out the window as soon as I went down that first drop. GoPro started shaking. These were coming off. It was a whole thing. So all in all, great ride. This is definitely the best ride in my opinion at SeaWorld San Antonio. We are at the Greece food stand. So the Texas Stingray is over here, this big wooden coaster. This is SeaWorld San Antonio's newest roller coaster. Tech Tyler just got off of that one. And then we're right across from the Orca Stadium. So this is where you'll see all of the Orca shows and then also where our last tour was. And I'll link that video down below so you can see our last behind the scenes tour. Tyler, what are you going to get? So what do you say about you guys? I would really, I, I love Euros, so I definitely want to try that. Uh, so I'm probably gonna use one of my punches for the Euros. See, we have three there, I'll use probably one here. And I'll probably end up just getting the Goddess Athena to buy that one. Uh, I did want to point out something, I want to point out something really quick. If you look behind me, there's tables everywhere. So Seymour's doing a really good job of promoting social distance tables uh, and, and in the shade, so I kind of like that too, so. I'm gonna try this, start off in Greece, and like Italy's over there, so yeah, let's give it some more. What are you gonna get? So I think I'm probably, I don't know, I'm, not a huge fan of Mediterranean food, but I'm also very picky. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Um, I think the shawarma sounds pretty good. Baklava is always amazing, but if you guys are on the pass system, if you're using these punch cards, um, keep in mind that you do pay quite a bit for them. So you wanna kind of maximize your money, I guess. So if you are on the punch card system, you are looking for something that is $5 or over to get the most out of your money. So if you're buying the baklava, you're probably better off buying it on your own, just like out of pocket and not using one of your punch cards for it. Wanted to mention again that you can upgrade. So SeaWorld was a nice enough to gift us with these food and beverage sampler passes. If you guys come and you want to buy a different pass, um, yours will look exactly the same. You'll just have 10 or 15 of these little cutouts. Um, so the 10 sampler package is $45. 
If you buy the 15 sampler package, it's $60, which is actually a really good deal considering most of these samples are anywhere from five to $6. And then you can also choose from food, wine, beer, or cocktails as part of your little punch card. Um, so that's actually a really good deal. And if you guys are pass holders and you buy the 15 sampler package, this $60 one, um, you're actually going to receive three samples for free. So you're actually gonna get 18 samples for $60 if you're already a pass holder. So Tyler got the Euro and um, we got got us Athena drink, which is vodka, brown sugar, lemon juice, and club soda. How do you feel about it? I like it, very lemon juicy. I think that the lemon juice really takes over a lot of the flavor for this drink. Uh, so if you're a big like lemonade kind of person, it's a great summer drink. So if you, if you like lemonade and, and things a little more tart, this is a great drink for you. Um, really excited to dig into this. This looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Pretty much anything with, I know you don't like lamb, but I love lamb. So anything with lamb and pita bread on it, I like it. Yours looks good too. Yours looks, yours looks more Mediterranean. It feels like something you got maybe almost like Italian. So this one is the shawarma. So chicken shawarma, this was actually their last one, but I think they were making more chicken when I came up. So it seems like this booth is a pretty popular booth and we had several people come up after us. So let's try it. Let's try it. I'm gonna wash my hands. Yeah, a lot of, what is this sauce that it says on here? Tzatziki. <laughs> it's like the cucumber sauce. Tzatziki sauce. A lot of tzatziki sauce on there. I bet you these onions, I'm gonna peel off some of these onions because they're, I don't know, purple onions are pretty strong. Let's try this. All right, here we go. Mm. Good. The sauce is pretty overpowering. Let's see if I can get a better bite. It's gonna be messy. Mm. so funny because we were like, where, do we, where are we gonna sit? Where are we gonna put our drinks? How are we gonna film this? And the one thing we forgot. We even washed our hands. One thing we forgot, napkins. That's all right though. Sauce is good, lamb is good. We'll cut this out and make my face bigger. <laughs> um, the bread's pretty good too. Uh, it's actually pretty toasty, which is weird. I've never really had toasty pita bread, so that's fairly new to me. Um, yeah, overall pretty good. I like it. The drink again, Pretty overpowered. I just can't get over how lemony this is. Have you tried yours? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Pretty it was lemony? great. I love it. Was it lemony? It's great. Yeah. Um, as you can see, we also have a bathtub of water. So. Okay, we're gonna get some napkins now. Is this shawarma? And what's that sauce on there? Is it like a basil pesto type of thing? I don't know. It is cook sauce. There you go. Say that seven times. Do you guys fast. know how to say that? I don't know how to say that. Um, this is gonna be kind of hard to eat because these cucumbers are like whole slices. So that's tricky. Mm. It's good. What does it taste like if you could compare it to something? I can't compare it to anything, but it's like a spicy. The sauce is a spicy sauce. Yeah. Really? Um, yeah, it tastes really good. It's a, I mean, it's not like super hot, but it is a little bit, there's a little bit of spice. Um, the chicken is really good, and I really like this bread, so. Pretty good? I really like this. I'm, this is out of my comfort zone for me because I'm pretty picky. So if you can't find it on a kid's menu, like, I usually don't want to eat it. Um, but this is actually really good, so good job, SeaWorld. As you can see, I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, so we finished our food here. This is our very first stop. Remember, we're at Greece. So. Way back here is the Orca Stadium. This with the blue roof over here is Greece. And all of this has tables. There is a grill over here, the smokehouse grill, but I don't think it's open right now. Um, but this is where it is to the left. And then Emporium Gifts, so there's a gift shop over here. There's a ton of tables. Some are in the shade, some are not. There are bathrooms right here. And then right here in front of where we're sitting is actually the Mediterranean booth. So this is the Italy booth of Seven Seas. Tyler's gonna go over and get something. We'll show you the menu now. Um, we feel super safe here. There's a ton of hand sanitizer. I was actually waiting for Tyler to get off of the Texas Stingray. Um, the line was about a 30 minute line. So I was sitting out on a bench. It was not a mask rest zone. It was just on the pathway. Um, and I did see 
three different staff members reminding guests to put their masks on up and over their nose and their mouth. Um, so that was really nice to see. I also know that they are really encouraging the use of hand sanitizer before and after your rides and probably like the Texas Stingray, um, you aren't able to ride unless you first put the hand sanitizer on and you have your mask on. So really good SeaWorld. Um, I'm really happy that the staff members, as they kind of walk around the park, they're just reminding people to put their masks on. Um, but for now, Tyler's, I think, going to go over to the Italy booth and get something. Is that right? Yes. What are you so going to get? I was looking at the menu. I got to get the meatball slider. I like sliders and I like meatballs, so I put them together and I'm a meatball. Uh, and I know you were liking the cannoli. So the cannoli, uh, the pistachio cannoli, I think it's called. So. Um, I wanted to mention that this event is Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, August 1st through 30th this year. And they are serving these foods and having these booths open from 11 to 4, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays only until the end of the month. So if you're interested, get on over here. It's delicious. That's what my meatball slider looks like. Pretty good size. Pretty eager. A lot of, lot of sauce. So I love a lot of sauce. And spaghetti, on pasta, on anything. Lots of sauce. That's the secret. Having an Italian grandma should tell you the same thing. Uh, and also... Canola. Pistachio, I believe. Pistachio canola. Looks good. Looks really good. Yeah. I'm really excited for this. Good size. And I think. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I've never had go with it. Let's dig in. Okay. You take the first bite. Okay. Okay. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it has like little chocolate chips inside. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. So, it has little chocolate chips. The outside is really crispy and crunchy. Mm -hmm. And I love that it's kind of coated with these pistachios. So, they're only on the ends, they're not on the inside. So, if you don't like pistachio, you, just pick you them can off. just have them off of the ends. Um, but I actually really like this. And for my first and only, I think this was Pretty a good, good choice. Okay. Okay, so meatball sandwich, Italian booth. Pretty good sauce. Oh, SeaWorld. SeaWorld, you've all done yourself on this one. That is really, really good. The sauce is a little sweet. Uh, the meatball's cooked excellent. A lot of flavor in the meatball. A lot of, you can tell a lot of spice. Um, it's cooked really well. The bread. Soft but toasty at the same time. This is <laughs> probably one of the best things I've ever had at SeaWorld at any event here in San Antonio. Um, and that's bold. You know, I've got we have Fiesta here, we have other events at SeaWorld, Fiesta Texas, things like that. This is one of the best foods I've ever had. This is really, really good. Um, I need to give you a bite of this. This is unbelievable. And unbelievable. Um, I want to show you guys that this is literally. <laughs> Just like one big meatball. Mm. So one big meatball on some bread with a bunch of sauce. That's all it takes to win Tyler's heart. Oh no. Okay. We're gonna finish this meal now. <laughs> if you guys are coming here, especially to eat this meatball sub, Tyler's did have a lot of sauce on it. So if you guys are getting it, please make sure to clean your hands because this is what his mask looks like afterwards. <laughs> so he has sauce all over his mask. He's hey, a mess. Hey, you play hard, you eat hard. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Um, so what's your update on the masks so far? Because we've been wearing them for a couple hours now. So was yours tight when we first when you first put it on? Yes. So the mat the mask fit well. Uh, so to be honest with you guys, I'm not a big fan of the cloth mask. This one's cloth. And that said, fits well. Easily breathable. Great on the ride. The other mask I had a little bit of a hard time keeping them together. This mask I had no problem, you know, worrying about it flying off or anything like that. So that was really cool. Um, so, for right now, this is, a theme, this is the theme park mask, and I like it. Continuing on to our next food booth, if you guys are coming here to the Seven Seas Festival, all of the food booths are in the back of the park, um, kind of surrounding, actually, the Orca Stadium. So, if you're looking for them, keep walking towards the very back of the park, and then you'll find them. The Orca Stadium is over here, the Beer Garden is right here, and we're actually coming up on the Germany booth here, which is in the back of the Beer Garden. And this is a face covering relaxation zone. So there's a lot of really nice areas back here. There are fans. Um, there's a lot of lights because this is somewhere that they do a lot of nighttime events. Um, but this is actually a really nice place to come. And then we're going to see some of the German food back here. The one that stuck out to me, the one that 
I'm probably gonna get is the braised beef with a uh, spatzel. And that's braised beef, <laughs> spatzel, and egg noodles. And if you know what that word is, I know I'm probably butchering it and I do apologize. So um, I'm gonna get the braised beef one. The apple strudel, God. You know me, I love me some apple strudel. Um, how about you? What are you thinking? I actually wanted to do the braised beef the braised as well. Beef? Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> you look good. Okay, well, why don't we do, we'll probably do one braised beef and maybe like a beer cheese. Yep. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's, let's do a beer that. cheese pretzel. Spatzel. Uh, and then, cool. Yeah. So the apple strudel does sound really good, but I think what's drawing me to that is the ice cream. And it's like almost 100 degrees. It's 99 right now. <laughs> this one is the braised beef with spetzel. <laughs> um, this is the beer cheese spetzel with sauteed onions. Um, and then this is the apple strudel with vanilla ice cream. So we're really excited. This is going to be good. It's gonna be good. I'm not sure what a spectacle is, but it's in know. two of our meals. So hopefully, we like it. We're gonna try it. Okay, try yours. So, on the menu, it says it's served with buttered egg noodles. Sorry, These might my... be little tiny egg noodles, I guess. Mm -hmm. It, it literally I, tastes don't... Like, like lentils. Like, I don't know. I like the, the, the texture of it, the flavor of it. Uh, we'll see. So, maybe they're out of egg noodles. I might have to live here. This is really good. It, 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 it's like a roast beef. This is literally like a, um, like you know, you would make just, just roast beef. It's, it has the same texture to it. it it's kind of falling off the same way. The flavor is really, really good. So you can tell it's been cooked for a while. Um, I guess these are the spetzel. I'm not sure, but I think the spetzel is a sauce. Some spetzel on here. Thumbs up. Really good. Yeah, this is really good. Um, but you can tell it's pretty, it's also pretty hearty. You know, we paid, I think we would have paid about $5.99 for this. This is a pretty good size compared to most any any festivals, at least that I know of. Um, I can see where you can easily get full of two horses in this whole seven seas thing. Um, they're really full, really flavorful. They give you somewhat of a lot of food for what you pay for, so I like it. Okay, so this is the beer cheese special with the onions. I don't like onions, <laughs> so I'm gonna put these off to the side. side I don't like onions either, so we can just take them off that thing. Yeah, they're off. Okay. A lot of cheese though. You like cheese. It's a lot of cheese. Um, there are more, so I guess these are egg noodles, but they're very small. I guess when I think of egg noodles, I think of like the big ones that you buy, like dried at the grocery store. Um, but these are little tiny ones. So if this is a traditional way to serve these dishes, please let us know because I have no idea. Okay, so we're gonna try this. Good. It looks just super cheesy. Looks like mac and cheese almost. It's like mac and cheese almost. Um, <laughs> oh. It might be different if I had the onions with it, but I honestly just hate onions, so I'm not going to try them. With it. Sure. But it is very, very cheesy. If you guys like beer cheese, this is a good one for you to try because you'll probably love this. It's basically just beer cheese and noodles. So it actually might be really good for your kids if your kids are really picky but still want to participate in this festival besides all the desserts. Uh, this actually might be a good one for picky kids to have. Okay, so we just stopped at the France booth at Taste of the Seven Seas. This is our last booth, and this France booth is a crepe specialty booth. So they hand make all of these crepes, and there are savory crepes as well as sweet crepes, which is pretty cool. So they have um, like a turkey mushroom and Swiss, they have a Monte Cristo, and then they have a chocolate cherry cream. Um, I got the hazelnut, banana, and strawberry. So this is kind of like a Nutella-esque crepe. Um, I'm pretty, pretty excited. It's very hot though. So um, they do make these crepes right in front of you. You can see them through the little window there. And for reference, it's right across from the Atlantis ride. Moment of truth. Crepe booth, France Pavilion. What do you think? <laughs> so first of all, you guys can see how large this is. 
So like this is pretty much as big as my hand that's underneath it. I think this is a great deal. Um, this crepe is I think $6.99. Uh, I think oh, this crepe cool. is actually $4.99. So if you're paying out of pocket, this is a really good price um, for something like this. Your whole family could share this because it's full of strawberries, bananas, and then hazelnut spread, basically like a Nutella. It's raining on us now. <laughs> um, but if you are using the punch card, which we did, um, $5 is pretty much like the minimum that you should use on the punch card to get your money's worth. So just keep that in mind. So let's give this a go. With, with rain water. With rain. Mm. It's really good. You guys, this is so good. Okay, so we moved away from the table that we were sitting at because it started raining. But I'm still eating my crepes. So we actually moved into like, um, what is like a snack stand kind of like a snack stand kind of thing so we're just trying to get out of the rain and there was really no place for us to go so um the crepe though is awesome so i know it doesn't really look that appetizing if you're looking at it but there's like huge chunks of bananas and strawberries and nutella um it's warm it's yummy it's it was made right in front of me um definitely a good deal definitely a good snack for how much it costs which is 4.99 we're gonna go into the penguin encounter. This is something that we haven't shown on this channel yet, but this is always open at SeaWorld. So it is an exhibit with penguins and puffins. And we're gonna go in there because we don't go in there very often. But if you guys have kids, if you want some good air conditioning, this is a great place to come. And this building is typically open all of the hours that SeaWorld Park is open. So here in this really cool building, so that we're on a moving walkway right now, like an escalator. And we're going through this penguin exhibit. And up above, it tells us facts about all the penguins. So this lighting simulates what you would find today in their sub-Antarctic habitat. So currently, right now, it would be very dark. It is very cold in here. So we just got out of the penguin exhibit. It's great air conditioning, a really nice way to end our day here at the Seven Seas Food Festival. Ate a lot of good food, had some good drinks. Right, no, we had some excellent drinks and it, the food was fantastic. Obviously my favorite thing was by far the meatball slider. Oh my God, that was to die for. I'm almost gonna bring my Italian grandma over here and let her try it. If you guys liked this video, please don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions of things that we should do in our future videos, please also let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you next week.